hello guys and welcome back to js graphics today i'm going to show you guys how you can save your pixel lab designs in psd and in pdf maybe you have a client that needs the raw file of your design psd and you don't know how to go about it or you have a design that you want to print in 300 dpi high quality which should be in pdf format in photoshop standard quality and you don't know how to do um how to go about all this with your pixel app design so today i'm going to show you guys how you can get these designs in psd and in pdf um formats using pixel app so right now i'm just going to head to um one of my designs so i'm going to choose one of my recent designs and then i'll show you guys how you can do it okay so okay like let me go with this one so right the first thing i'm going to do right now is to save each of these designs separately so firstly i will just need to um hide the tests the designs that um has the test i'll just need to hide each of them all right so what i will do from here is to save this so click on save and i will choose the ultra quality so there are actually two ways in which you can go about this and so i'm going to show you guys the two ways in which you can get this xap um psd and pdf formats and the 300 dpi high quality so i'm just showing you guys the first one and when we are done with this i'm going to show you guys the second method in which you can use to get this exact um things we are looking for and then after we've done that the next thing to do now is to um hide the shapes and images and then save the test so i'm just going to unhide this and hide the shapes So from here we're feeding all the shapes and it's just the test that is left so i'm just going to head to this place and i'll click on the transparent button and all my stuffs are transparent so i can then save them in um, png format so i'll click on save and and i'll save with the ultra quality Okay, so I'm going to unhide all this. So, but before we go to the next step, maybe you want to like um, change. Okay, I'll show you guys how to do that in the other step. So the next thing to do now is head to your browser. So we're going to go to our browser. Okay. Go to Chrome and then we'll type in photopea.com. So photopea.com, which is this. So after this loads, the next thing we are just going to do is to click on files. And then I uh, will click on open. So I'll click on files and I'll head straight to Pixel Lab where we saved our files. And then I will head to Pixel Lab images, Pixel Lab, and I will choose the first thing we save. So as you can see, this is um, our design. That will save the layer. So if you want to make this bolder or bold enough, you can use the portrait. I'm just using this horizontal um, format. 
for the tutorial sake so you can start to use um the um the vertical the portrait format so you can see this board um uh, see the design board like so it can be bold i think you get what i'm saying so the next thing i'm going to do now is to click on files again and then open and place so i'll go to pixel and i'll choose the test so guys to see our test i think i'm just going to go to layers which is here and then i'll move the test i uploaded to the front of um yeah front of the background just this way and then our test is right here so i'm just going to click back on the layers and then the next thing i'm going to do now is to save this firstly in pdf and to do that okay let me let me say first in psd to do that we are just going to remember this is the first method so you got to like hold and then i'll show you the second method you can do this so i'm just going to go to files and then i'll click on save as psd so once you click on this save as psd it automatically saves this your file in psd format and then you can send it to your clients who needs um the file in photoshop format and then if you want to print it in pdf um format with the 300 dpi high quality you can just go to files again and then click you click on export as pdf you scroll down you can even save it as um web p sfg gif mp4 and the rest but right now what we need to get is the pdf format so i'm just going to click on pdf and then our files will be um made ready in pdf format so this is um the first method so let's just save then we just head straight to the second method we can do this Okay, so the, this is just it, and then you click on save, and then your file is saved in PDF format. Okay, I'm just going to like um take this off, and then I'll show you guys the second method. So the second method to do this now is um okay, this method is actually best for like logo designs, in which your client don't necessarily need to do edit much on it. But in case the second method is in case you want to like change some, some things here, maybe your client decides to like um edit the test because if you do it this way your test won't be editable so to um make your clients like know how to edit those steps in photoshop what you're going to do is just to um to hide the test so i don't think you don't necessarily need to import the test here so you're just going to make the test editable and how do you do that to do that you are going to design the test like write this test again using photo piece so i'm just going to what i was just going to do is to um go to test which is this and then you start all over again like i said before use the portrait mode so it will be better for you to design from here you choose your font so the font i used in that um design i think was roboto so you just need to select roboto font here or I'm just going to use this for tutorial sake. Just pick a font. Once you pick the font, you will just need to design exactly what you design on that test. So here you can choose the bold, regular. I think this font just has regular, and then you can choose the font size depending on what you want. Remember, you can also change the color of the fonts here the same way you did in Pixel App. So this is the fonts um you can choose the bold the size and then you can choose the color and then make that same design you did in pixel up here that same test just the test so that your client maybe your client wants to like change one or two there he can do it and also another thing is that you can also install new fonts maybe you already have a downloaded font and then you want to load those fonts in photo p of course you can do that so you, what you just need to do is to go to the same font here you click on it and then all right you click on load font and then this will just lead you straight once you click on this load font it will lead you straight to your phone 
and then you select your font just click on the font you want to use and then it's installed automatically so this really worked for me when i was beginning my graphic design when i like started my graphic design journey so it helped me before i got my laptop and then i was using photoshop illustrator and the rest of so this really helped me so if you don't have a laptop yet and you want to save your device in psd and in pdf formats for your client of course you can do that with your phone so this is much very very easy thank you guys for watching subscribe like and share the video and then see you guys in my next tutorial All right remember in case you have any question regarding this or you need more help you can just um type in your um questions and comments on the comment sessions and then i'll get back to you see you guys next thank you